Hi, welcome to a Tiger TV tailgate show short. We're here getting ready for LSU versus Florida in Gainesville today. Johnny Lombardi alongside me, Morgan Beer. Now, Morgan, LSU trying to avoid going 0-3 in SEC play as they travel to the Swamp today. What is one of your keys to the game early on for LSU today? Well, regardless of the starter at quarterback, and it's yet to be determined by Les Miles, he said he's going to announce that closer to game time. Anthony Jennings or Brandon Harris, one of the quarterbacks have to get it going. Last week, Brandon Harris only 56 yards through the air. They did not pass the ball much as an offense in general. So it's up to Les Miles, Cam Cameron, whoever's calling the plays to get the quarterback position going early and often. You can't ignore it. I get running the ball and trying to establish a run game and easing your quarterback in the situation, but it didn't work last week against Auburn, and I don't think anything will be different this week in the swamp. Now, Florida coming off an impressive come from behind 10 to 9 victory over Tennessee in Knoxville. And also coming off that blowout against Alabama. It's a team with a lot of controversy. Trayon Harris, not sure if he's going to be playing. Will Muschamp on the hot seat. What's the key for Florida? Is they're going to be at home against an LSU team that's extremely vulnerable? Well, on the opposite end, I don't think they should get the quarterback going right away. I think they should maybe take a play out of LSU's book from last week and ride their workhorse running back, Matt Jones. He's averaging over 100 yards a carry this year. The LSU defensive line been getting pushed around specifically against the SEC opponents, allowing over 500, 600 yards of offense, it seems like, against Mississippi State and Auburn. So for Florida, establish the dominance of the line of scrimmage. Take advantage of the young defense tackles, you know, Devon Gocho and Christian Lockertshire for LSU and ride your workhorse, Matt Jones, get him going, and then maybe Jeff Driscoll can ease his way back in there like he was a couple games ago as a starter. Let's take a look at some of the things that L um, LSU head coach Les Miles and Tiger players had to say earlier this week at press conferences. Stay poised against the noise, and uh, like I said, just just continue to come out and play. Um, fans are going to expect what they expect, and, and, we, and we have control of it to a certain, to a certain extent. But like I said, at the end of the day, we're the guys playing the game, the game that we love, and. No, don't worry about it. Just play. I feel like with 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 any offense that uh, our defense face, we, we we can have a great game. But it just comes down to us, you know, ex executing the, uh, the the game plan Coach Davis called, and us going out there and just being responsible for our own mistakes on defense and just owning up to it. And I feel like you know, uh, coming out Saturday, we 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 will have a great game because I have that much confidence in the defense. Well, it sure will be an interesting test for the Tigers today in the Swamp. Morgan, your one final prediction for LSU and Florida tonight on the SEC Network. Well, I think both teams are coming in very average, maybe a little bit below average this year, as you can tell by the records and especially in SEC play. But I think it's going to be the typical Florida LSU grinded out, dirty looking, old school football game. I think the score won't be more than 17-10, somewhere around there, maybe 21 points. But I think the Tigers are going to get things right from last week, go into the Swamp, do what they've been doing early on this year and win the game 21-17. We've seen a lot of interesting LSU Florida matchups all throughout the year. Tonight will be no different. For Morgan Beard, I'm Johnny Lombardi. Thanks for watching this Tiger TV tailgate short.